and welcome back to Disrupted TV Student Voice. I'm your host, Bobby, here today with a senior in high school, Lily. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? Doing pretty good, thank you. Our first question for you today is whether or not you can answer yes or no to the following question. If you have a problem, is there a teacher with whom you can talk to at school? Yeah, for sure. Because I have like a few teachers in mind that would always be there for any student that seeks help like for issues at home or issues regarding schoolwork. But I have a specific teacher who has been the most impactful, positive like source that I have had throughout my whole high school career. And he's always there for every and any issue that I have. And I think that just really helps to formulate a very safe, comfortable, and exciting like environment at school for me. And it's been a huge help having him as my guide. Does that help you in not just feeling comfortable in school, but does it help you when you're actually in the classroom and learning? When you're with that teacher, is it more of a you just want to be there listening and you're more willing to pay attention to the teacher because you feel like you have that bond with them? Yeah, like making that relationship with the student and the teacher makes it more exciting to learn and if I'm confused on an assignment or anything, he's also always there for me. That's great to hear. It's definitely something you want to see in the school. Our second question for you is, have you or have you not been recognized for something positive in school? Personally, I have not, and I'm pretty sure it's because I take part in the music department in our school, and I am involved in an acapella group, and we're very successful, and we have been performing in Disney World, in Virginia at the NATO Parade of Nations, and also in events like the New Jersey State Teen Arts Festival, and an international championship of high school acapella. Wow. And we've done many things, but people at school, unless you're in the group, they don't really hear about that. And I think that athletes are the first to get noticed and recognized for their achievements. And not that they don't deserve it, because everybody deserves recognition for what they do and how well they're doing it. But it seems to be specific in certain sports, more popular sports, because I also personally partake in both softball and field hockey and I've never been recognized for things that I have achieved in the sports. Like my freshman year, I was ranked as one of the best players with the highest batting average in our conference and no one in the school really knew about it. And it's just really encouraging and important to motivate the athletes and the singers, the dancers, and everyone in the school involved with anything to keep doing what they're doing. Well, since you've been on both sides of the uh, aisle, I mean, do you see a divide growing in the school between the athletes and non-athletes? As you said, athletes are more recognized in your school. Does that create more of a stigma that people feel they aren't as appreciated in the school? Or Yeah, and it's like, it's pretty unfair because I felt that way at least because people that partake in the fall plays and spring musicals and stuff like that, they put just as many is if like even more hours and all their time and hard work into those events and don't get the recognition that like say a football team does playing a game. Does that take any kind of a toll on a student in their daily life going throughout the school? Does it make them not want to be at the school? Does it make them feel like they're not good enough to really succeed in the school whether it be through their activities like you said with either the fall or spring musical or even just in the classroom in regards to grades? Yeah, I think me personally, and I've talked to a few friends about it, it makes them feel not as appreciated and it's not encouraging to keep wanting to go forward and do more for the school. So you feel that if all students were really recognized on a consistent basis, that they'd feel more welcome in the school and that they'd really be pushed to want to succeed? Yeah. That's really great to hear. So thank you again for joining us, Lily. Okay. And to all students out there, please take the question in mind as to whether or not you feel your voice is heard in your school and whether or not there's something positive you feel you can attribute to your school and if there is, make sure that you try to take action on it. Thank you again for joining us. As always, I'm your host Bobby and we'll see you next time.